Welcome to another night of hockey. Alongside Eddie Olchek, I'm Mike Emrick. We'll hear from Ray Ferraro shortly. This should be a special night inside this arena. Tonight we have for you a fantastic game of hockey. And before the faceoff, here's Eddie. I've been looking forward to this one for a while, Doc. Both of these teams have the ability to put the puck in the back of the net. Goaltending, as we know, could be the difference here. Russia's got that face-off win with a shot. Score! Didn't take long for the home team, did it? That puck looked like it got deflected right in front of the goaltender. I'm sure Ray had a much better look at that. It did get deflected, Eddie, and when we get a look at it on the replay right here, you're going to see the goalie's in position, but because the puck is deflected the way it was, it gets past him in a way he just can't react to. Team Russia's got the early lead. What a start, just like the coach drew it up. Puck out in front! Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right near it. I don't think the puck here ever thought that this player was going to come in and make this big, huge hit. Right in front, punched away. Snaps a wrister. Puck controlled by Moss. And play is stopped for a penalty. The snipers receive two minutes for holding. The referees are looking for that particular play where the player drops his free hand off the stick and reaches in. Two-minute holding call. Shot on. We have one period in the books. Only one goal scored. Lots of time left to play. Fans, take a look at our scoreboard as we acknowledge tonight's special groups in attendance. Shepard's goal came very early, and the rest was just a skirmish. We are at intermission time, and a one-goal difference. To hit the net. Sometimes it's best just to fire it right at the goaltender. Snaps it on goal. Great glove save. He scores! Really good positioning. He's in the butterfly where he's got most of the net covered. But there's obviously a hole in the pucks behind him. Team Russia's goal has given them a two-goal lead now, and there's still a lot of time left in the game. We're still in the second period. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? He knifed it away. Shoots! Great point-blank save. Magnificent save! Shot the puck over the net. Sends it back the other way. And so now a penalty will be handed out. The Russians are given a hooking minor. This was okay about 10 years ago. Not anymore. That's a hooking call. Pinpoint pass up that right wing. What a hit. Knocked right down to a knee and it's loose. On the outside, a shot. Play is stopped. There is a signal. We just wanted to see who it is he's taking off. As you see clearly, the player lifts up his hands with his stick and causes separation from the player's back cross check. He's in on an onside play. Terrific open ice hit. The defense can rest. 
We've played two periods here of a three-period game. The best part of the day is coming up. All right, fans, time for tonight's Lucky Road giveaway. Congratulations to Section 107, Row F. Each fan receives a Shinneman's goal advanced this for his team from a one-goal lead to a two as we head to break. Only at our team store. Off coming up next. Down to rinkside we go yet again. Ray, what do you know? Costi's been incredibly stable tonight. Any chance that's come his way, he's snuffed it out. He's given his team so much confidence. That's a championship performance tonight. Man, these saves highlight some of the play that he's had tonight. He has been spectacular in goal tonight. Absolutely, Ray. Thank you. A little over seven minutes left to go here in the third. The lead has just been cut in half. Let's see if momentum changes now. <laughs> Referee over to the penalty box, and let's find out. The snipers have accrued a penalty. It's a minor for slashing. He's making like Paul Bunyan out there. That's a two-minute slash. Gains the zone. Let's it go. Blockered away. Tries to get it on net. Great glove save, but it's loose. Freezes play. The Russians have it up the wing. Denied by the defense. Puck loose. Puck covered. Whistle blown. It's been a long time since this wasn't the garden variety stop for a goalie. Down in the butterfly, turned aside. Possession established. Good reach there. Feeds the point. Score! That puts his team up by a pair. From this area of the ice, you're always shooting the score. And so he looks like he's in pretty good positioning here, but he's not able to get his glove low enough to snap this one up. And the face-off squad. Oh, broke it up! Penalty call coming. Watch for his signal here. The snipers are going to the box for two minutes, and the call is tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck. It took the legs out from the attacking player. The, the boards are there to be used, and he does it with that pass. Great save off a howitzer. Hangs on to it, looking for room. Let's go. Save! Oh, what a terrific save in close. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. They win the draw. Let's see if it pays off. He scores! We're so far up here, Doc. I'm not sure if that puck got deflected. Let's go down to Ray and see what he saw at ice level. Not only was the puck deflected, Edzo, it's through traffic as well. You're going to see on the replay, 
that the goaltender's fighting A, the traffic. He's got to get into position for it. And right when he thinks he's got the puck at him, the puck changes directions. He just can't catch up. And they take that neutral zone face off. The horn signals the end of the game. I know what that's like, Doc, being on the end of some bad game, some bad efforts. I'm not looking forward to practice tomorrow. So that is it for this one. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good night all.